Open board is one of the best online whiteboards which is free and open source. It has tons of features built in which are very easy to use and of superior quality than many paid online whiteboards. It has a lot of applications which you can use inside and I have made a getting started tutorial about open board which is very popular and has thousand of views but one question I was getting there and that was how to insert videos in open board. Open board does not allow you to put a YouTube link in open board but there are three different ways to insert videos which I am going to explain in this video and then at the end I will discuss two issues with open board which are annoying other than that it is an awesome but first I will show you three different ways to insert a video in open board so let's get started after a short break if this is your first time my name is Tahir and I make videos about online teaching and how you can create online courses so if this is something of interest for you then please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So one thing I would like to mention in the beginning that this is not a beginner's tutorial. If you don't understand my actions, please watch my first video. Now the way you switch between open board and your desktop is by clicking on this show desktop button and I will be moving between open board and desktop by using this button. So the first way to insert a video in open board is by putting your videos in a specific folder. Let me show you if I click here. When you install open board by default underneath your this PC folder in windows there is a videos folder and under videos folder it makes a folder open board and whatever video you put in this folder open board can be easily inserted inside your page. So I have put one video here and let me go back. Now in these applications there is this movies application. If I click on that I can see one video from open board company and this is my video. This video is in mp4 format so I click on that and I drag it and this video is inserted. Now I click on this, I move it and I can resize by clicking on lower right corner and then dragging in. Similarly I can horizontally resize this as well. And now I can play the video just by clicking on this icon. So this is one way to insert a video. Let's close this. Let's go back to home. The second way to insert a video is by clicking on this icon applications icon and in this there are two ways you can insert a video. One is by using any embed this one and the second is by using video picker. So I click this and I put it here and now I can click and drag just like that. Now let's go back to my desktop and this is my YouTube video, my previous open board tutorial. I click on this to copy the link, go back and if I try to paste it and click show, it will show me this message that this URL cannot be used. Open board does not allow YouTube videos to be placed inside your pages. But if you look here, it allows you to insert Vimeo videos. If your videos are hosted on Vimeo which is another video hosting platform just like YouTube then you can insert your videos. And there is another application I am not aware of this application. Widdler is written here so maybe Widdler is another hosting platform but I have no idea of this. And now I will show you how to put Vimeo link here. I have a Vimeo account my account is not free. I have a paid account because I have lot of videos hosted on Vimeo. But you can also open a free account with Vimeo. And let's say I want to insert this video in my open board. So I click on this video first. And now the first thing you should make sure is that you have proper privacy settings. So if I click on this privacy settings, I have hosted this video as a private video. And the most important thing is here that I am allowing Vimeo to make this video embeddable 
only on a specific domains and the domain I am selecting is my website digitidea.com so I am asking Vimeo that the link of this video can only be placed on a domain which has digitidea.com in its address and of course open board is different than this so it will not allow this video to run on open board so the first thing I want to change this option so I click on this arrow and I change this to anywhere and now I can insert this video I have tested it with public option but you can also check with private whether it allows or not it should allow but I am going for the public option because I have checked this and I made it public and then I click on this link icon it will show me copy the link so I click on copy and now I go back to my open board and now I place it here and I click show and now my video is there I can run it from here so this is another way let's close this now the third way is by using this any embed application now again I place this here go back to my Vimeo account and this time I click on this embed I click on that embed code copied I go back to my open board and I place this embed code and I click embed now the video has been embedded again I can resize it from lower right corner and I can resize it horizontally as well if I want but uh, as you can see that it distorts the proportion so therefore you should always use this lower right corner to adjust the size of the video and now again I have this button here play button I can click on that and video will be played so these are three different ways you can insert a video this embed option is the best one because if you insert your video from your computer I notice that the video does not run smoothly but if you use any embed or video picker your video plays smoothly so therefore I would recommend that you use embed option or video picker option to insert video in open board now before I end this video two more things I would like to show you very small things but important so let me close this the first thing is that some math teachers they want to insert math expressions in open board and there is no way you can write math expressions however some only wants to use some Greek symbols and this is possible to use Greek symbols alpha beta gamma so for example I draw this triangle and then I take this pencil tool and I make these angles and now I want to write alpha beta gamma so one way to write alpha is just by handwritten alpha but I want to print alpha here to do that you click on this text and then you click on this F and by default this Arial font is selected if you select this BST Greek you will see this alpha beta gamma and then you can select bold or not whatever size you want so let me make it a little bigger and then I click OK and now if I type A on my keyboard it will write alpha and you can change the size by clicking on this plus you can change the size of alpha now you click on this and it will make a copy of this you place alpha here and you click on this make it beta by typing B on your keyboard make a copy of this you place this here click on this and make it gamma by typing G on your keyboard and you can take this here so you can insert Greek symbols but you cannot write math expressions I have a separate video about how to make images of math expressions and then you can insert images you can watch that video on my channel just type math expressions and you will see the video now another thing I want to show you is the use of ruler tool so if I click on home tab applications and ruler I bring the ruler here and the problem is that let's say I select this pencil and I want to draw a line so sometimes when I draw a line it goes straight along the edge of the ruler 
and let's undo this but sometimes what happens is that I can move not along the edge but wherever I want. So how is that? What is the difference? What I did wrong here in this case that I am not getting a straight line. Now let's undo. The way you draw a straight line along the edge of the ruler is that when you make your first click most of this dot this gray dot should be on the ruler. Now as you can see that all of this dot is on the ruler. Now if I click I will get a dot and now I don't release my mouse button. I click and drag. Now this time the line will be along the edge of the ruler. It will not move right or left. But if I click here while most of my dot is outside the ruler now I can move wherever I want. No, I am not following the edge. I want to follow it but it is not following. So this is the difference. So these were a few things which I wanted to include in this video. And one last thing is that if you don't see this stylus bar that is because you have accidentally click on this stylus on the top left corner. If I click on this stylus my stylus bar will disappear. So if your stylus bar disappears just click on this stylus and it will reappear on your screen. This is it about this video. So I hope you like this video. If so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In the description of this video you will see links to some other very useful videos you might want to watch. So see the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.